And now Stephen Leto, who's been in Odaya all week monitoring um, the preparations, as you've just seen in that report, joins me live now to talk a little bit more about the preparations for that. Stephen, good evening. Of course, um, the president's uh, cottage makes its way to Odaya on Saturday. So with all the preparations you've already told us in the story you filed, what's left in terms of preparations for Saturday? And what is left is the traffic control right from Nairobi all the way to Othaya, where the uh, casket will be or will be making its way uh, because the, the organizers uh, say that they want to have uh, that ride from the Lee Funeral Home all the way to Othaya as smooth as possible. But of course, you know, this is, uh, you know, a, a day that a lot of people will be waiting to see and we are expecting that there will be those people will uh, you know come to the to the road uh, just to you know wave to the body of the late retired president Emilio Moe Kibaki as it makes its way to the Othaya approved grounds where the funeral service will be held and later to his home that is uh, still what the uh, uh, that is still the headache that uh, the security agencies are trying to farm up but here in Othaya it's all systems go and that uh, even uh, the Othaya approved grounds that has been been undergoing a day and night activities has been closed for tonight because of everything has been com uh, completed and the f and the uh, and the grounds handed over to the military to take charge until uh, Saturday and so a lot uh, will be expected uh, tomorrow as being the last day of course Saturday closing in in Othaya and uh, 60 over 16,000 uh, mourners expected uh, to uh, come in and uh, uh, Yvonne another very important thing to note is that uh, already the town of Othaya is already full for those who are coming they better come very very fast uh, because uh, we are told a lot of accommodation uh, spaces are almost gone and that uh, the accommodation crisis is slowly kicking in. Even one uh, very last interesting thing also that uh, it is important to note is that the family uh, uh, has requested that the final rights of the late uh, uh, retired president uh, Mwai Kibaki be met as private as possible and that uh, very few dignitaries will be allowed to the home of the retired uh, president to get there and of course even uh, it's time to take a rest because uh, tomorrow and Saturday will be as busy as you can imagine. But I've been here since Friday, but it is a reprieve because two of my colleagues already are here. Uh, Chemutai going. Karibu sana. How was the ride to uh, Othaya? Well, the ride was good and got to rubber neck a little bit on the thicker superhighway, which of course you know yeah. is one of the listed legacy projects of retired President Emilio Mwaikibaki. Well, it's a smooth ride for Yvonne, uh, I mean, sorry, Yvonne, for, for Chemutai. Uh, Seth, was it smooth? Was it bumpy? Not only smooth and bumpy, but also the road network is actually perfect. And we could see workers during the last minute, you know, painting of the road and especially on the bumps, just to tell you that Neri County is a place to be during this historic moment when it's morning, the very on the late former President Mwai Kibaki. Well, indeed, indeed, Seth, the road network is one of the issues uh, that the locals here in Othai have praised, poured a lot of praises to retired President Mwai Kibaki, say that he paid key attention to one, roads, two, electricity, and three, water in all the villages dotted across Othai constituency when he served as a member of parliament and finally when he served as the president of the Republic of Kenya. Chemutai, very quickly, what do you expect on Saturday? Of course, we expect the thousands of mourners who will be coming here, not just from Othaya, not, not from Othaya, Nyeri County, but of course, cutting across the country and the continent. And uh, we will be looking forward to what will transpire here. It's a historic moment, unfortunately, a sad one. But then it is one of those moments when we get to relive history and celebrate a man many have revered as having done a lot for the country. Well, uh, Shemutai, there you have it uh, said very quickly. It will be a ninth, the end of a 91 year journey of the late retired President Mwai Kibaki, who served as a president from 2002 to 2013. What do you expect on Saturday? We expect a lot of dignitaries to make their way here in Neri Othaya. And our main focus at Citizen TV, of course, will be to focus on the tributes that will be made, not only from the dignitaries and the high profile guests we expect but also from the family members and the local, the Othaya residents, their sentiments towards their great leader, their great 
former leader and fallen leader Mwai Kibaki. And of course, Citizen TV will be bringing these actions live right here from Mothaya. Well said, said indeed. Citizen TV is the channel to watch on Saturday as we bring you comprehensive coverage of the burial ceremony of the late uh, retired President Mwai Kibaki right from 5 o'clock in the morning when the body leaves leave from the home we will be dotted across the way all the way to othaya and our teams will be very active on the ground to ensure that you get every latest information and news from othaya approved grounds yvonne that is it that we have from othaya that is just a sneak preview on saturday citizen tv will be bringing you all the coverage and of course our sister stations in noro tv and ramogi television yvonne that's right. Thank you very much, Stephen Lato, Seth Olale, and Chimtai Goin. We look forward to that coverage.